Well, social media is often accused of driving people apart, but sometimes it can bring people together. Mike McArdle has a last word on how some Instagram likes turned into love. Once upon a time, they would have seen each other at a party or in school, but... How did you meet? Uh, Instagram. We both, like, follow the similar people, and he went to the high school, like, both in our city. And out of all of that came an Instagram romance. Well, how long after you met did you fall in love? Uh, well, the first, like, three months, we weren't really. And then uh, when we both start, I started university, and we went to the same university. So uh -huh. um, basically since the first day, and we've hung out every day since. <laughs> and Emily continued. It drew me in more because I was like, oh, finally somebody, like, somebody I could talk to about all this stuff and, like, is interested in it as well. Taha is quiet. Emily said she makes up for that. But it's on social media where both of them reach out. Now, how right many from. friends do you have on Instagram? Uh, like, maybe, like, a 1,000 or 1,500. And Taha? 2,200, maybe, but... Oh, wow. Yeah. A lot more than like, Emily. <laughs> yeah. It's like... I don't know, most like, you know, you meet them online and you like like what they post, they like what you post. And it's out of really... that 3,000 friends you both have together, you found each other. Guess so. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> guess <Yeah. so. laughs> they are both 19 and vacationing here from Alberta and inseparable. And that's been since June. Yeah. yeah. Not a long time, but no, it feels like a really time, long time. Yeah. Their grandparents would have written love letters, their parents made phone calls, but now Cupid carries a quiver of hashtags and likes, and sometimes those likes turn into love. Mike McArdle, CTV News.